Hi, I'm Scott Kleppe, president of Sensa Technologies. Today we'd like to do what we consider to be our quick start for the Sensa Gold G2 product line. When you receive your Sensa Gold G2, it will come in this hard carrying case. And inside the carrying case, we have an instruction manual, the alkaline batteries, the three C cells. We have an additional sensor cap and filter. We have a wrist strap for connection to the instrument, as well as a battery removal tool. To access the battery compartment, first remove the retaining screw from the battery handle using the Torx wrench provided. Next, depress the tab in the center and slide the handle down. Install the batteries using caution to observe the polarity that is marked in the inside of the battery compartment. Next, slide the handle back in place, depress the tab, and replace the screw. To turn the instrument on, simply push the A button, hold it down until the display begins to illuminate. The instrument will go through a warm-up period, in which time it is doing a complete system check. During the system check, the microprocessors will go through to identify any sensor issues, any pump issues, or any other problems that may exist within the instrument. During that warm-up, it does indicate when the calibration will be due for the next calibration. Next is an auto zero, in which all of the sensors are analyzed for being in a proper zeroing. And now we have a full working display. The pump is running. Should there be any problem with any sensor, a fail message would be indicated at the appropriate sensor location. This instrument is now displaying LEL, carbon monoxide in parts per million, is indicating oxygen in percent, and hydrogen sulfide in parts per million. The natural indication indicates this instrument is calibrated using methane. If this instrument had part per million, as well as LEL, as well as percent volume indications, all, sensor all sensing ranges are automatic. Next, we extend the gooseneck assembly to the area in which we wish to detect. To locate the source of gas leakage easily, we would use the B button to go to our tick test. Press the B button again to activate, and a tick begins to operate. As we get closer to a leak source, the tick will increase. To exit the tick, press the A button one time. Prior to any entry within an area, press and hold the gooseneck assembly to show a flow block indication which does indicate whether the sampling system is working correctly. Other display indications in this instrument include NSR and NSC. If during the detection of a gas other than natural gas, the instrument will display an NSC should it be a combustible gas such as propane or butane. The NSR indication will be illuminated if the gas is not of combustible nature. After use, wind the gooseneck around the back of the instrument, slide it into the clip, and put it into place. To turn the instrument off, use the power button, hold down until it says power off, and release. 
Thank you for viewing this video today on the Sensit Gold G2. If you have further questions, please don't hesitate to contact one of our representatives or look us up on the web at gasleaksensors.com. Thank you.